Agora TV. The world is thinking. Now the first portion, of, first part of the title here is Imagined Worlds. And I was immediately thinking of Leonard Schlein, who recently passed away. And he wrote a book a number of years ago called Art and Physics. And where he looked at 500 years of art, and he said, every time you started seeing things that were kind of unexplained in art, about 50 years later, we'd be able to explain them in physics. So it was sort of the zeitgeist was already somehow in the, his theory was the zeitgeist was sort of in the population. What do you think about that in terms of imagined worlds, that, that the, the science fiction that is being written and being read, how much is that sort of contributed to actually what happens, that there's a sense for what's going to happen? Well, I think only sometimes. Uh, one of the things I like to think about is the difference between space travel and time travel. So space travel is something that science fiction predicted and wrote about, and it happened. Uh, and time travel is something that science fiction wrote about. It goes back to H.G. Wells even earlier. And yet, as far as we know, it has not happened. And those are the two main themes of science fiction. There are lots of other themes. And I think the fact that time travel has been such a popular theme in science fiction shows that science fiction has always been much more than just predicting what's going to happen. Space travel is actually an easy prediction because we always move from one place to another ever more quickly. So sooner or later it made sense that if a plane could fly in the air, someone would invent something that could get off the planet. But we never at all, again, as far as we know, even traveled through time in the slightest except uh, living through time normally. No one has traveled to the past as far as we know, and no one has jumped into the future. Perhaps, perhaps on the quantum level. Perhaps, <laughs> but yeah. So, you know, that I think shows that science fiction is involved in predicting the future, but it's something more than that as well.